Hey everyone, Zach here from Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at some of the new AI experiences that are exclusive to Copilot Plus PCs. That means these features will not be coming to your existing Windows 11 device. If you'd like to have access to any of this new stuff, you will have to buy a new PC that is labeled Copilot Plus. Those PCs will begin shipping first in June. Uh, Pre-orders are live now for a number of them, including these new Surface devices. This is a Surface Laptop 7, uh, but we're not looking at the hardware in this video. We're simply looking at the software experiences enabled by the chips in these laptops. So diving straight in, the first big feature here is Recall. Recall is essentially an app that records everything you do. It takes a snapshot of your desktop every three to five seconds and uses AI to triage that into things you can search for using natural language. So you can see along the top here, there's a nice timeline interface and you can click back into any point that you've been using your computer and see what was on screen. And you can use the app to copy text and images from that moment uh, and play, paste it into somewhere else on your current desktop, which is really quite nice. You can also open it into other apps such as Notepad there. You can see this nice sort of cursor effect. Along the bottom, we do have the file in question, which if you click on, will open that file up directly, just like so. So you can actually jump into that file and actively edit it versus just seeing a screenshot of it uh, from a few days ago, which is really nice. In addition to that, we also have the ability to hide the screen away, copy snapshot, delete snapshot, and some options, including edit with snipping tools. So if you'd like to go back in time to grab a screenshot that you didn't actually make at the time, you can do that with Recall. We have a search bar at the top here, which will allow you to type in a query of sorts. So if you're looking for something specific, you can type into the Recall app what you're looking for, and uh, ideally it will find it. If, if the AI model has been trained on the thing you're searching for, if it's an image at least, it will find it. If it's a text, it should find it just fine. As you can see, I typed in Costa Rica, and we now find all of the instances there where Costa Rica has appeared on my screen at some point. Uh, even if it's things that are related to Costa Rica, so it's not, it doesn't have to directly say Costa Rica, but if there's a picture of somewhere that's familiar in Costa Rica that the AI has detected, it will also bring that in as well. And you can see I can now jump into that web page, which is what it picked up from a few days ago. Here's the sort of recall system tray button which allows you to open the recall app or pause the experience. Recall is entirely optional, so if you don't want to be using a thing that's constantly recording everything you do, you can turn it off. You can turn off the snapshots feature there. Uh, you can also adjust how much storage it uses. It's set to 25 gigs here, but you can set it all the way up to 150 gigabytes. And that's because, you know, if you want it to save months and months worth of screenshots, it's gonna start taking up space eventually, so you can customize that. You also set it to delete uh, snapshots after a specific amount of time. And you can also filter out apps and websites as well. So if I wanted to say, oh, I don't want Notepad to ever show up in Recall, I can go in there, select Recall, add it to the list. And so whenever Notepad is on screen, Recall, uh, Recall will know not to take any snapshots. Same goes to the website. So if you type in windowscentral.com here, whenever I end, go to windowscentral.com, uh, snapshots will no longer function. And so they will not be taken when I'm looking at those web pages, which is pretty cool. So we also have Paint Co-Creator. This is a new on-device AI uh, image generator, which allows you to uh, draw something basic in Paint and have Co-Creator sort of bring that to life. So I can type into here, for example, an old house on a hill with a blue sky. And now I can begin drawing that. Uh, and side by side, Co-Creator will draw a better version of it, if you will. So if we come over to the, the canvas here, there we go, I'm drawing the hill here. And there's the house there with a roof because I'm a good drawer like that. And you can see on the right, it's, it's turning it into something that I could never draw ever. But that's now my drawing. I can tell people I did that in Microsoft Paint. The era of uh, paint art is over because co-creator is just going to do it for everybody now, which is a shame, I think. But it is <laughs> what it is. So there we are. We can adjust the creativity level of it as well. So you can make it basic from the AI or you can make it super advanced from the AI. Uh, and then you can tell all your friends you're a true artist and you can hang that on your wall. And so you made it in Microsoft Paint. So if I grab that and I paste it into my canvas, there we are. I drew that. That is my art and you can't tell me otherwise. So that's a pretty cool feature. There's a similar feature in Photos now, which I haven't shown here. Uh, the Copilot app itself uh, is been updated as well quite a bit. I think this is new at least. It looks nice. Uh, you can also do the same things as normal, but this interface has just been updated and it looks a little bit more modern and uh, clean now, which is cool. There is a Copilot key on these Copilot Plus PCs, which when you click it, will open this app directly. And just like the Recall app, it's treated as an app. It's no longer a sidebar, so you can drag it around, you can maximize it, you can snap it to other apps, and it's just treated like any other app window, which is kind of cool. 
Now, moving on, let's take a look at some of the new Windows Studio effects. These are pretty cool. This interface has been updated quite significantly. We still have all of our usual portrait lights, portrait blur, and all this other stuff. But what's new is these uh, filters, which look really, really cool. In fact, allow me to go and open the camera app here to uh, show you what this looks like in more detail, I guess. Here I am in the camera app and we're gonna open up Windows Studio Effects again. And if we enable these effects, you can see it applies in real time. And so I now look quite nice, I think. Uh, these effects are surprisingly um, <laughs> impressive. As you can see by my face here, that I'm, I'm quite impressed by how it's made the, the hair look there and all this other stuff. And like I said, th this applies directly to the, to the webcam video feed. So this works in any app. So whenever you're using your webcam, you can go into Windows Studio Effects here and enable these filters. And that will work whether you're in WhatsApp or Teams or Skype or Zoom or FaceTime. If you log into FaceTime calls on your PC, um, it should work and it looks really quite nice. So there we have it, that's a quick look at three of the big new AI features coming soon to Windows 11. This is all pretty cool stuff. I know there's some people who are quite concerned about the recall feature. You can turn it off if you really are concerned, but Microsoft does insist that the AI recall feature, uh, all the data it collects is stored directly on the device. It's never sent to a cloud. Microsoft has no interest in seeing any, all the sc screen captures it does, and they're not gonna train any AI models on it. So. That data, that screen capture stuff is entirely yours on your device. It doesn't sync across your Microsoft accounts. It doesn't sync between devices. It's solely on that device where those snapshots are captured. Keep it in mind, uh, give it a go when it comes out and maybe you'll enjoy it. But yeah, that is a quick look at those new features. Thank you so much for watching. We shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.